Hello everybody. Welcome back after SimCat 14. Here we are with a few quick approaches. The first question that I've selected is the question number four. <clears throat> The radius of the circumcircle of the kite is 35. Now, remember, all kites may not be able to circumscribe, be circumscribed by a circle, but this is given as the data. Now, the two kites, the longer kite, that means the longer kite diagonal of the kite will become the diameter of the circle. The kite would do like this. The longer diagonal will become the diameter of the circle. Now that radius is given as 35, which means the diameter now will become 70. The diagonal will become 70. Because it is a semicircle, now this angle would be a right angle here. This is a Pythagorean triplet. What does it look like? The perimeter of the kite is given as 196. So the summation of the two adjacent, non-equal adjacent sides will be half of this, 98. So if you have two sides, summation is 98 and the uh, hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is 70. What triangle do you think it would be? Let's try 3, 4, 5. The hypotenuse is 5 and the summation of the other two is 7. Is 98, 70 in the same ratio? 17, 7 into 14 will give you 98 and 14 into 5 gives you 70. So that's it. So the sides of the triangle that we see here are 14 into 3, 42, 14 into 4, 56, and 14 into 5, 70. So we have understood our kite. <clears throat> now the question was the area of the circle outside the kite. So first let's find the area of the circle. Area of the circle is pi 22 by 7 into r square, 35, 35. So that gives us 5 into 22, 110 into 35. 5 plus 3 gives us 8. So how do we multiply by 11? Just add 3 and 5, 8. So 3, 8, 5, 0. This is the area of the circle. Now we want the area of the kite. There are two equal triangles, congruent triangles, 42, 56, 70, 42, 56, 70. So simply find the area of the right one of the triangles. Because it is a right angle triangle, we simply multiply half leg one leg two so area of the kite will be half one part of the sorry one part of the right angle triangle will be half 4256 and because we have two right angle triangles we'll multiply by two so 4652 that is the area of the kite two into six twelve two carry one let's write 56 here and multiply six two twelve carry one 24 and 10, 34, 34 and 1, 35, carry 3, 20 and 3, 23, 2, 3, 5, 0. We need to subtract 2, 3, 5, 2, 2, 3, 5, 2 from the bigger number. 50 minus 52 gives us 98 as the last two digits. So last two digits must be 98. So from there, we have our answer 1498. Option C is the right answer. Okay, uh, pause if you need to read. Looks like something difficult, but not too much. The numerator k factorial is good. In the denominator, we have 1 plus 2 sig plus till, till k, sigma n. So that would be k into k plus 1 by 2, which the 2 will go into the numerator. So k factorial by k becomes k minus 1 factorial. k minus 1 factorial divided by k plus 1. Now, when would this not give you an integer? When would this not be an integer? If k plus 1 is an even number, there will all be factor, it will be factorized and it will be possible to divide. Be very careful. Let's start with k is equal to 1. When we put k is equal to 1, it becomes 2 into 0, 0 factorial, which is 1, by 2 plus 1. 1, 1 plus 1, 2, and that gives us an integer. Correct, no problem. k is equal to 1. Now let's try k is equal to 2. When we put 2, we have 2 into 1 factorial by 2 plus 1, 3. That does not give us an integer. 
So the first value of k that does not give us an integer is 2. When we put k is equal to 3, we'll have 6 factorial. 2 into 3 factorial divisible divided by 2 plus uh, 3 plus 1, 4. So this is divisible. So the only thing now we remember is when would this be non divisible When k plus 1 becomes a prime number. k plus 1 should be a prime number, not k. So when we take k as 4, we'll have k plus 1 as 5. And this year it was a 3. So this, when it becomes 5 in the denominator, we'll not have an integer. Next, we can have 7 in the denominator. K plus 1 will be 7. So obviously, K will be 6. We don't need these numbers. We now just need 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. And we can go until 29 and 31 also. K plus 1 is 31. Remember, K can go up to 30. So K plus 1 can go up to 31. So how many numbers do we have? 1, 2, 3. Just count them. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. 10. The correct answer is option D, 10. For 10 values of K, we will not have integers. Remember, this is not 31 is not K. K at that time would be 30. K would be 30. So don't get confused with K and K plus 1. The denominator is not K, it is K plus 1. Moving on to the next one. Looks like a bit too difficult one. Let the cost price be X of all the three flower pots. The first is X is raised by R percent. X into 1 plus R becomes the mark price. And then there's an 80% discount. So this is the selling price. Selling price minus. So you can say X into 0 0.8 plus 0.8 R. This is the selling price. Remember, this is selling price. Selling price minus the cost price, which is X. We have assumed X as the cost price. So when you subtract X, we will have X into 0 0.8 R minus 0 0.2. When we subtract X, we'll take X common and we'll have this. And this is given to us as 60 rupees profit. The next time we have is three-fourth of R. So we can go on and directly write. This would become three-fourth here for the second part. There's no need to write, but so I am writing one plus three-fourth of R and then 0 0.8. So very similarly, we'll have X into three-fourth of R, 0 point, three-fourth of 8 will be 0 0.6. So we'll have 0 0.6 R minus 0 0.2. This part will remain the same is equal to 20. You can verify when you open this bracket, you will have X into 0 0.8 plus 0 0.6 R. And when we subtract X, 0 0.8 min minus 1 will give us minus 0 0.2. Now, immediately we subtract 60 minus 20 gives us 40. 0 0.2, 0 0.2 cancels out. 0 0.8 R minus 0 0.6 R gives us X into 0 0.2 R. This is 20, uh, 40. So what is X into R? X into R gives us 200. 40 divided by 0.2, 200. Now this is actually your answer. But wait, let's let's understand how do we get this. Now on the third day, on Tuesday, uh, sorry, on the third day, what are we doing on Wednesday? The price is raised by R percent, okay? And no discount is given. So the selling price, the mark price becomes the selling price. X into 1 plus R is the selling price and minus X, the cost price. So we have X into R. This is the profit. And that we already found is 200. So the profit is 200 rupees. Easy time speed distance. Two places. Bhavesh reaches in, let's say, X minutes. Aman takes 50 more. I think that, uh, let me see if I can move this. Quite slow. Huh. So, 50 minutes earlier than Aman. So, Aman would reach in X plus 50 minutes. 
when amazon was at the midpoint when would aman be at the midpoint half time to re travel half the distance he will take half the time so x by plus 50 by 2 x by 2 plus 50 by 2 25 aman would be and remember this is aman where would bhavish be we don't know but let's say just such just says bhavish is somewhere here obviously the time is the same for both when aman is at x by 2 plus 25 bhavish is also travel for the same time now the question says bhavish was still 25 minutes away from reaching in 25 more minutes he would reach that means we can say x by 2 plus 25 plus 25 is equal to x so x by 2 is 50 and this gives us x is equal to 100 the time that bhavish took to reach the opposite side is q that is is 100 minutes so aman's time would be amar's time would be aman's time would be 150 minutes the timings are in the ratio 2 is to 3 so speeds are in the ratio 2 is 3 is to 2 but we are asked not bhavesh aman aman bhavesh so it is 2 is to 3 that is the right answer remember we have 3 is to 2 also in the option be very careful 3 is to 2 is also there in the options that option should have been ideally eliminated very quickly by looking at the option it is greater than 1 we know bhavish aman speed is less than bhavish how can we have 3 is to 2 so be careful of such traps so the answer is option a 2 is to 3 rem cannot be determined one of the options here is cannot be determined the fourth option remember i keep saying if there is an option cannot be determined 90% it is not correct it's a trap 90% it is not correct i mean see it's my 90% is my judgment don't ask me how i got it now the idea is whenever there is a option cannot be determined it has to be set there has to be probably a good setting done by the question the question has to be in a good setting right so have you understood the question 200 articles to be made in 20 days so combined every day they are making 10 now if i take two situations and if i get two different answers my answer is cannot be determined all i need is two trials just make two trials if there is an answer possible you will have the same answer in both the cases the combined speed is 10 so let me assume and we know uh, the third person who was the third person indra indra's speed is 820% less he is less efficient 20% less efficient than kartik so let's assume kartik to have an efficiency of 5 combined is 10 so mayur will also have an efficiency of 5 together they would make everything in 10 days now they took 21 days because kartik left let's say kartik left after x days so he has worked at a speed of 5 efficiency of 5 for x days now total 21 days that means mayur would have met 5 into 21 105 articles cupboards or articles that means kartik and indra together would have made 95 now kartik has worked for x days let's say x days so 5x plus 21 minus x days is what indra would have worked for at a speed of 4 so and that should be 95 remember x is not what we want so here we have 5x minus 4x x Is equal to ninety five minus eighty four eleven. Karthik has worked for eleven days. That means Aman has worked. Indra has worked for. Aman was the last chap question. Indra has worked for ten days at a speed of four. So he has made forty units. Okay, we have one possible value. Forty units. Okay, two thousand two hundred units is one lakh rupees. So forty units is twenty thousand rupees. we have one possible value yes this is there in the options but this may be i don't know we'll have to verify so let's verify now ideally we want kartik to be a multiple of 5 so we could have taken 2.5 2.5 kartik and indra would be 2 but this this is meant to just take kartik as 10 let's assume kartik is 10 and mayur is absolutely doing nothing is just resting <laughs> that becomes easier right so if kartik has an efficiency of 10 Indra will have an efficiency of eight, and only these two people will be making the two hundred cupboards. 
So again, let's assume Karthik works for X days. This X would be different from the previous X. So Karthik has an efficiency of X days. 10 works for X days. Rest of the 21 minus X days is what Indra works at an efficiency of 8. And they should make all the 200 units. All the 200 units is what they will make. So 10X, 8X minus 8X, 2X is equal to 8 into 21 is 168. 200 minus 168 is 32. So X should be 16. That means Karthik works for 16 days. Remember, X is not your answer. Karthik has worked for 16 days out of the 21. So Mayur, Indra would have worked for only 5 days. And this time his efficiency is 8. That still gives us 40 units. So whatever we do. Now, if I make the entire equation in variables, whatever happens, Indra will always turn out to have 40 units. He will always be making 40 cupboards. And that would give him a share of 20,000 rupees every time. Whatever be the, is the efficiencies of Karthik and Mayur, that is irrespective. It doesn't matter. See how wonderfully a question has been set. So the answer is option A, 20,000 rupees. Right? So just this much for today. Right? Simcat 14, just this much. Work hard and stay safe. Work hard and stay safe.